magneto here, so we're going to draw it away from that plate. So theoretically, that should come out through there like that. So we've got the mag off now. Um, obviously need reconditioned. There's no pull on it. You should get a flux pull on the mag, but that's worn out. There's no pull on it, so there'll be literally no spark worth talking about. This is the gear selection. I'll take a photograph of when we're putting it back together. Um, I've got an idea how it goes and I'll take some of that time and chest too. That's the kickstart return spring. That was broken, I managed to make one up. This is a clutch lever here that comes up. I'll drop this mechanism because as I said before, you, that comes out so you can get the gearbox out. So we run those out there. First time anybody's been there for about 50 years. But you can see how that operates there. And I think we'll drop the cylinder barrel off now. So we need to get those undone there. Making sure you don't damage the fins. Because they're all remarkably good condition. Possibly put that in there and get another coming, but a bit reluctant. There we go. She's broken. Often you find a little trick. If you tap those on the end, it just helps break the thread. You see how easy that went just with that slight tap. We just got a bit of trouble for some reason. The piston's gone up tight on the skirt. So I'm just gonna heat the barrel up a touch to give it a bit of expansion. And theoretically, it should just give it enough to clear it. Right, we've just managed to get that piston out of there. Obviously, it's been semi-seized. Um, well, it's been standing idle, so as you see on the piston, it's really tight and the rings are all jammed up. Plus, the big end's gone. If you can see the movement, see there shouldn't be any up and down movement on that. So, big job. There won't be much point in going down to Halfords for a 1937 350 new Imperial big end kit, so... I'll leave that and I'll drop the gearbox out and I hope we don't find any carnage in the gearbox. That's the main shaft coming through there. Just like that. So here we go. The main shaft looks quite good, Nick. We've got a lot of oil in there, so get that out. That one goes on there like that. I've cleaned up the gears. Um, all look pretty good. Second is a bit worn, but um, nothing drastic and very more important. the. Sliding dogs have not been worn. Often you get what we call the sliding dogs here. That tooth edge gets worn away with the gears going into each other. But this gearbox hasn't done a lot of mileage. It sort of stacks up with about 32,000. So that's your selector mechanism there, which operates on the top of the box. This is your kickstart mechanism here that kicks. You can see it kicking the, the gear around here and then it goes into neutral. So, gears are on pretty good nick. Happy about that. Sure. Severely tight. Just burst off there, you hear with the heat. 
So that's it there, it's a sprocket. There's a bit of a felt behind it which has suffered. So but that's your final drive or the mag drive sprocket on here. Done done. It's important to try and keep the cams in position because you're going to lose the timing. Right, so that's inside your cams, and then we can have a look to see the timing marks. You see the dots here, and then we've got to get the corresponding dots. I'm going to mark the teeth. So that's the timing. That's the cam. There you go, that's marked back cam. We've dropped the gudgeon pin out of the piston. Unfortunately the small end bush will need remaking. Too much wear on it so we have another job to do on the lathe. Took the piston off. Obviously you mark the front when you take it off so you don't put the piston in back to front uh, which wouldn't help things too much. So we're soaking the rings and um, with a bit of heat, I'm sure they'll come out and then we can get a new set of rings, 75 mil bore. We'll be able to find um, suitable rings for that. So we've dropped the bolts out of the crankcases here. We'll give it a bit of a hand to get it apart. Anyway, it's let go. So, oh, not good. <clears throat> bit grim really in it the sleeve gear bearing doesn't feel too bad but I'm not very keen on all that metal sludge the flywheels have been rubbing on the side of the crankcases it's buffed away the the nut on the side of the big end so that's where all the crudges come from so that's probably why the big end's gone and the small end because all the bits of metal flying around. Ain't good for an engine. So these are coming apart. There we go, this happened. Right, now we see the carnage. This is where we've got the wear, you see. You can actually hear it floating back and forward. You can see where the severe wear there. So that a big track's been dug round there with the rollers. So that's where the load's been hitting the pin, you know, that's been driven down by the piston. And the top side's worn more than the bottom side, because that side ain't worn at all. So anyway, that's got to be re Um We've got to think about um, the alignment of the cases again. And um, new valve guides, uh, so the, the jobs are mounting up severely. Right, we've got the piston out now. Um, I thought about trying to salvage these rings, so um, obviously aluminium expands greater than steel, so if I heat the piston up, the rings should uh, probably come out quite relatively easy, so see what happens smoke coming out of there that's the oil holes at the back of the piston to, for the oil ring you've got two compression rings and an oil ring the oil ring is to stop the oil getting up into the combustion chamber just gently 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 i think we're winning if we're careful We've got one ring loose, nice and loose like that. So that's a breakthrough to get that ring nice and loose. So I'll do the same with the other three. We'll have a look at the cylinder head now. Um, we're gonna drop the valves out. So this is a valve lifter. Uh, so that screws in like that. So that takes the pressure off the 
little collets in the valve spring which you should get at any minute so if you've got a little magnet like that often it helps them to come out there we go there's the little collet so there's another one that come to there you go the second one out so that's the valve lifter that's the spring valve spring out of there that's the valve a lot of bad wear on it there you see the wear on there so it probably need new valve guides so that's how that pops in and then your collets went in there to hold it so we'll have those out and knock a couple of new ones up on the lathe otherwise the head's not too bad only one slightly damaged fin here which we'll dress up uh, you got the twin port exhaust here which was always a sporty engine you gotta run. 